What have you learnt from the London 2012 and Rio 2016 that you will take with you to Tokyo? Um, so yeah, London 2012 I spoke about before. I feel like that's my that was my door into the into the world of athletics, and that's when I you know fully started saying this is full time. This is what I want to do. And in Rio, um, I was a completely different person. I feel like in London. I was absolutely loving life and I was waving to the crowd, I was enjoying the atmosphere and in Rio there was a lot of pressure on me. I was still only 23 years old at the time and a lot of people expected me to win. Um, I expected me to win too and I don't know why with the preparation I had um, leading into it, especially 2014, a crack foot, 2015, you no know, mark in the long jump, pulled quad, pulled. Um, a doctor, knee operation, yeah. going into 2016, um, pull quad again. So I feel like 2016 was, I don't know what I learned from that apart from changing my life. I feel like it was a horrible experience and it changed me as a person, but I know never to do any of those mistakes ever again. No. And I feel like I'm ready for the next one now. And enjoy Tokyo. Yeah. Get well. that bubble back because. <laughs> Because the so crowd, important. the crowd will support you more if you're showing you're so enjoying the competition.